Does listening distance matter? And by listening distance, what I'm talking about is how far you're actually sitting from your loudspeakers. And the answer is yes, it is absolutely critical. But as with most things in audio where you have room acoustics in play, loudspeaker design in play, and all of these other factors, there are no hard and fast rules. But what I can tell you is that depending on the size of the loudspeaker that you have, I can offer some tips. You've probably seen reference to the term near field listening or listening in the near field. I've always defined near field listening is you're sitting at a distance that's shorter than the spacing between the speakers. That's the near field. Now, why do some people prefer to listen and sit that close to their speakers? One thing that happens is that you take out some of the room acoustics. You are listening more, at, more of the direct and some of the first reflection signals from the loudspeaker and you can take some of the room sound or the perceived room sound out of the equation. Yes, there's still going to be reverberation, there's going to be still an impact on bass performance, but listening in the near field for a lot of people is preferred because it can give you tighter focus and remove some of the influence of the room. Now, the downside of that is that you will lose, in most cases, some of the soundstage, some of the spaciousness, because a lot of that is created by those room reflections and getting more into the reflected energy in the room sitting back further. But there's another problem with listening too close to your speaker. If you get into something that's a, you know, a large floor standing speaker with you know, a number of drive units that are dispersed from near the floor up to the top of the speaker cabinet, one thing that's gonna happen is that when that speaker is designed, in most cases, you're going to be, the designer is measuring it at one meter or in some cases, two meters, and looking at how all of the acoustic signatures of those drive units, the acoustic output of all those drivers, how they come together, how they blend with one another, how they integrate and add at those distances. Now, if you have a very, very, you know, a tall speaker with multiple drive units and you sit in the near field, in most cases, you're not going to achieve that seamless blend or that integration anymore between the drive units as if you were sitting back a little bit further. And this is important. How do you know that you are maybe sitting too close? If you can hear distinct frequencies or instruments coming from drivers, like if you hear the high frequencies and cymbals seem to be coming from the tweeter area at the top of the cabin, for instance, you're sitting too close to that speaker. And my recommendation is if you wanna try the near field and you have a pair of you know, smaller bookshelf speakers, Certainly you can do that. Just remember, you're probably going to lose some of that spacious sound staging compared to sitting further back. If you have floor standing speakers, in most cases, I don't recommend near field listening. Now you may object to that, you may find something differently, but remember, getting that integration between the drivers requires some distance from the speaker. And it's something that, you know, I found over the years in trying near field listening that it just doesn't work with, you know, floor standing speakers with multiple drive units. I'd love to hear what you think. Do you, do you have a pair of tower speakers that you're listening in the near field and, you know, you're, you love it? Have you tried near field listening? It's an interesting exper experiment, particularly if you're having trouble with the sound of a pair of speakers in a room, and again, you've got bookshelf speakers, for instance, try sitting in the near field. You may find that some of the problematic room acoustics issues in your particular room either disappear completely or are minimized by sitting in the near field. And you may wanna make the trade-off between that spacious soundstage and the acoustics problems in your room by sitting in the near field. 
So thank you very much again, as always, for watching. I look forward to your comments and questions, and we'll see you the next time.